Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the first half of the Grand Finals for the Ulti Trio League. But first off, before we get to the high stakes one in the high division, we're going to go to the low division first. It'll be a best of three. We haven't seen these two teams before, but you'll be seeing them for the first time on Fireside Cast. And they'll be digging it out for the grand prize, which is that first place prize and... I'm here with Rumpus. Rumpus, we're on a familiar map that we first casted Ulti Trio oh, on, yeah. so at least we have a good familiar introduction to start off this Grand Finals. Very true. And yeah, so we're looking at a three-map series potentially here. Um, of course, starting off here on Fyra, Fira. Fyra. Fyra. And then uh, map two, which we'll guaranteed see is Kaffa, and then potentially a map three, Staten. Uh, the latter two, not maps that I have seen, uh, be, not being a, an ulti trio player, not being an ulti trio player yet. Um, I do know, so this is the, as you mentioned, the low grand finals. There were two divisions uh, this season. Maybe if we get uh, some big signups, then uh, we might see some more uh, divisions get used, just more people playing this uh, this game mode, which to me looks very fun. Well, you'll never know. We, this is basically a new game mode for everybody that's involved. Well, I mean, really the same concept as Ulta Duo, but, you know, you just have the added benefit of having a scout with it. And from my from our first showing on this very same map, Fyra, we kind of we kind of bit in more into the quirks of the map itself rather than how Ulti Trio actually affected the gameplay of the map. So it'll be interesting to see here in the low division if anything changes or will the scout remain dominant in yeah, this. Especially, uh, of course, the other team, well, each team has access to like a teleport onto high ground um, from their spawn. But it is still like slightly less high ground and also a little bit cornered. So there can be a pretty aggressive hold uh, we saw in the, the last match I covered at least. Um, kind of just looming over the primary spawn door that is still in a nice position to be able to fight the teleporter as well um actually so we don't have name configs or anything but i'm just assuming everyone here is aliased as they like to be so we could run down uh, some rosters here if you'd like yes 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 only thing is i'm not really too sure I actually, I actually do know a few players in this team, on these teams. So Finman was on the on the mm -hmm. disciples of Jakob first iteration. He's the medic, and he'll be joined by Yinor, Yinor, and Jono. And then on the other hot on the other side, we have Ivan, Dill, and Aoki. So yep. I actually see I've actually seen Aoki. I think played around the newcomer amateur this season. So I do recognize Finman, but I think that's all for me. Uh, Aoki might ring a bell, but. Uh... I could just be lying about that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be getting in here shortly. Um, so I don't know any any predictions here. Which uh, which of these teams was higher seeded, actually? Do we have that info? I'd hand? probably assume the one with Finn, man. But I'm just going to... We're only saying that because he's the only one with actual main experience from both of these teams. So okay. I'm just going to throw it off to him. And I think... You know, to start with predictions, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna actually predict the score. I'm gonna predict how this game starts. Both teams are gonna take the teleporters. Scouts are gonna get the aggressive, and then the soldiers will uh, absolutely wreck one. One of these soldiers will wreck the other team. That's how I'm gonna predict that. We'll have to see. That seems to be exactly what's happening so far. Uh, we are looking at uh, you know we're actually getting a nice rocket off onto Ivan, who goes quite low. But Jana will be the first to go down, and now it's just a two v three. Just a matter of Finman trying to keep Yinor alive will not happen. And now Fing Finman is on the chopping block. Tries oh, to go back to this. Doors. Yeah. Unable to open it from the other side. Was just hoping to get the scout to, to open it for them. But uh, scout went to the wrong shutter. I don't think it would have mattered anyway. But uh, here they're prepping to shove the teleporter again. I do see right in position. Down. Yeah. They get that oh! and actually lose both combats. So now Aoki uh, 1v1ing here uh, Jono. Of course, you expect the scout to be winning this, and that seems to be happening. The spawners in one second. The soldier is here to clutch up in time. That and actually made yeah. a little more time considering they killed the medic late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aoki, they're dying with like 76% Uber. Um, Uber is, of course, not as critical to this game mode as it might be in sixes, but uh, still, it can be nice to have. And Finman actually still. first to die there from Dill. 
Ooh, and the shotgun is out and gets another victim, and that's a, uh, a wipe in the other direction now for red. Yeah, great bomb from Dill. Isolates the medic onto the low ground. And actually, he's equipping the shotgun, the disciplinary action, and the rocket launcher. So, trying to get that speed boost while also... Oh, they're actually spunking the teleporter, and Dill just manhandles Jono, and actually, you know, you yeah. know, too. Man, trying to BK. get something on Aoki, I think only got one uh, Uber saw off. And that was all. Yeah, ulti duo for sure. You see uh, Shotgun Soldier as the standard. And uh, ulti trio, I don't see how that would be any different. Ooh, nice bomb from Ginor does get a pick, but uh, their two team members have already died. And at this point, okay, Uber does get forced. John Otelli's in. Hey, just try and retreat back. Actually, caps the point. Uh, there was a lot of cap oh. time. Dies for it, though. And uh, Finman accidentally took the teleporter. Oh. oh Enor you know, needs to open, open the, the shutter. Door to get him out. Okay, Finman is just barely safe here. There is a resupply cabinet waiting. Uh, Ubers are going to be roughly even here. Slight time add for the red team. Both medics going down immediately. It's just Jono versus two somewhat disgustful health. Just a scout 1v1 here in the truest sense. I suppose uh, Ivan had about a 20 health advantage to start, but uh, neither one's going to kill each other by the time that uh, these spawners show up. And at this point, oh, Aoki, Aoki actually does take the tally and will be dead to a Yinor's posthumous the to rocket the there. The scout's flanking behind Ivan onto oh, yeah. the medic, but thankfully Jono is a heads-up play against it. Both these players are weak, but oh, oh my god, Finman hitting that bow there probably saved their own life. Aoki just trying to get back into spawn will hit the jump and be able to teleport back into safety. Uh, at this point, about a 30 second time advantage for the red team. Blue has the point. Oh, and they're just shoving the tele. Yinor is first to fall. So much damage though. Jono could clean up here, but is unable to connect with Finman. Just unable to get healed there. And now Finman in a scary spot. Just trying to wait out the time oh, for these spawners. Aoki. Almost kills Aoki, oh, yeah. but Jono and Yinor should reconnect, and they should oh, say wow. the scout. I think they delayed the soldier spawn. Actually, no, they didn't. But so. With, okay, I love that play there because uh, with the pressure on Aoki and how weak they were, they had to play really, really passively around the corner, and that meant that Ivan was then separated. So Yinor was just able to bomb onto Ivan, no buff, no nothing, and get that pick. Okay, good damage on these teleporting players. Dill is the first to fall, actually. Oh, and Yinor on 20 HP is able to shotgun down Ivan as well. And at this point, we're looking at uh, full Uber for Finman. And soon to be a blue advantage here. Uh, yeah, this should seesaw the in their favor. Taking the teleporter yet again. I feel like they've never taken the spawn doors to initiate a fight on red. But they're just going to isolate the scout a 2v1 between the frightening classes. And obviously, it's going to go in the hmm. numbers advantage of the blue side and Aoki just left alive. I I, yeah. I feel like they can start from the spawn doors, but you know, there's just never an opportunity to do so because you start off in the low ground. Unless the yeah. soldier fades and makes space on Dill. Aoki did get a nice frag there, but uh, Finman never used the Uber, so it is still full ad again. Um, we'll I mean, see. unless Finman makes a miraculous mistake, they should have this round in the bag. Yeah, Uber does get popped. Uh, just keep it nice and safe. Another full wipe for red. They will have an opportunity here to refight the point uh, at least once, maybe even t uh, probably only once. Oh, we'll, we'll see. They get through the telly, but uh, Dill was not very healthy there. I don't know if they got a buff before going through the telly. Oh, yeah, the down man. a soldier immediately. Yinor catching a bow there means they are now safe, and with Dill, will not be able to make it in time. That's going to be first round here for. Three big guys is the team name, I believe, for Blue. I believe so. I think the only thing that they made an adjustment to that actually enabled them to win the round is that Finman started dropping, started having, like, staying on high ground instead of dropping off. And being able to keep those heals definitely helps you. As Yinor goes for a fast mm. bomb, very ambitious, but it does kill Aoki. But yeah, Yano but these players are so weak, it should just players. be clean up, yeah. Just tank the scout there. Things are all good. And yeah, just Aoki on a separate spawn wave, unable to heal anyone. We got about 40 at here for Finn, man. We'll see if that Uber uh, gets materialized, but for now, ooh, oh, early damage on both scouts. They both go down, actually. Yinor is able to clean up Dill clean and Aoki. 3K. That's a team yeah. wipe. Absolutely. All by Yinor. That was quite close, actually. Was able to get an extra rocket off there, um, which was just the difference maker. 
Once again, the teleporter will be taken again. We're just gonna see this replay time and time again. But this time, Red, they have the oh. high ground advantage, and they're able to... They actually John don't win needs it. needs to get healed here. Oh, I love Finan blocking the shots here. The healthier <laughs> player. Because that scout was 20 HP. You need you need to, to help out your scout there. Just and heal Finan him up has a little super. bit. So they could take it in if you know they could. Off to do so. I think the play like for Ubers here is just use Ubers to save players rather than aggressively. Because again, if they wipe... Like, if they kill Aoki here, which they might, it's looking like it. They're, they're, John here, just runs into them and doesn't get punished at yeah. all. But now that they've killed that medic, the fact that they didn't use that Uber means oh, it's like... Oh. I'm not sure if Finman had to use there. He's fully Yeah, that was a little there. bit of a fear pop, I say. Um, it's ultimately not uh, that relevant. And Blue does have a strong foothold in this round. Burning half the time already, a minute and 30. Although, we do see a Soldier for Scout trade. Uh, usually it's been the same classes trading with each other. We'll see how things go this time. And it's just Chad, MGE Rockets from Dill looking to be winning this fight. Jono and Finman both are so weak. Minor is in trying to do some type of salvage. We'll trade with a soldier, but it's just Finman on the, uh, the health here. Jono, can they get the shutter in time? Yes, they can. Nice jukes there from Finman. We'll save their life. Uh, Dill is actually not spawned for the meantime. Okay, will be showing up in time. Blue was a little slow there. I think they had. Oh, here we go. I like this. Enor going through the spawn door, and the Ooh. other is going through the teleporter, and that just actually yeah. creates a two-way distraction, and it completely obliterates the red side. Yeah, it can be a risky play to isolate yourselves to some degree, where one person is just going to be alone and and focusable, but. They did a great job there of just dividing Red's attention and getting in on them correctly. Ooh, a nice rocket from Dill will take out Yinor. And actually, there it goes. Jono as well. Oh, and Finn was only 99%. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that was an Uber that could have been popped. And even the Scout Solo Uber would probably have gotten some value here. Uh, that being said, 50 seconds left for Blue once they cap this point. Whereas it's. Over two minutes left for red. Actually, early damage going in the favor of blue, and th that materializes in two picks, actually. Enor does die for it, but uh, when Aoki actually going for the kill bind. Uh, interesting. Definitely uh, in, in high level, like Sweat Lord ulti duo for sure. You see kill binds on medics uh, quite often. Kind of interesting to see that because Red have always been this health order, Blue are still not opting to play close to it, and I think they just don't want to get punished. Mm -hmm. And that's actually going to cost them because they don't, they play on point instead of playing close to the teleporter. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Red actually try to divert attention by having somebody go through a spawn door than the others took the teleporter, so I feel like Blue could have had a better heads up there in that fight. Yeah. Blue is taking the telly here. Yinor bombing in, but Jono and Yinor both dying. There we it's just go. up to Finn, man. And let that be kind of an example of why Aoki maybe uh, kill-binded earlier. Is there's a little bit of a delayed death. Um, you're just unlikely to get value. It's all about uh, risk reward, I suppose. So we do see Yinor through the telly just bombing in. They need to get the, the combo. Of Aoki. They, they do, do use, yeah. But Finn man needs to be out. I mean, I it's think it's okay nice if he dies. They do have a minute advantage. They just probably didn't need to commit the heals there. But I think Yino is still alive. Really this is okay. This is still scary for them. Dill does not want to commit off the high ground. The fact that Finman lived there was insane. Ubers are going to be even here. Minute remaining for Red. They're oh, doing a great job so of burning this time. Ooh, and Jono's first to go, and then this is looking like a full wipe. So, they need to be fast on blue because now red ha is fit halfway through their uber and uh -huh. with the way the trend of these fights have been going they should be able to have it for this last waning seconds of the round yeah slowly but surely they are oh finn man just oh, dying badly immediately timed. they need something the players are so weak uh you know only able to get dill there probably time the soldier wanted to go first but the players in the combat have went through the teleport already so they became the main focus of the spam at this point, 80% Uber on Aoki. Oh, it's definitely gotta, it's scary. If Aoki can get this Uber that... Oh, but they get the point, actually. Uh, blue caps, that is. And with that, they're able to uh, pressure some time here. But Aoki does get that Uber in the, the slowed down game state there. And it's going to be a full wipe, it seems. Finman has no hope of living for the remaining three seconds here. Will mm. go down. 
Red will be able to recap, and we'll be able to avoid any overtime, I suppose. I don't know how relevant overtime is in this game mode in particular, but... Uh, just surprised they didn't shoot it off to take the getaway teleport, knowing that they had to force up the Uber on I blue, but this the result. fight is going to be the decider of the game, or this oh. uh, round, in fact. And losing the mag immediately. Low. Oh, but Jono gets Aoki, and now it's a scout 1v1, but Ivan's so weak. And he's just delayed for spawns! They delay Yinor spawns! I don't know how consequential that should be, I don't but think no. it, these players won't be able to get yeah. in time. Yeah, um, good play there from Jono, just like playing on top of the point. Uh, I mean, the fact that they had a big health advantage definitely helps uh, but you can just say like hey I'm just gonna cap this and win uh, if you want to come fight me and try and stop me go ahead you actually see Dill trading out with Jono first thing uh, round three here that was just a scout versus soldier although we do see Dill spawning sooner than Jono quite a bit sooner actually and with that now it's uh, 2v3 nor Long does go down since Jono is so fast up. They are, yeah. Finman is going to be caught, just barely unable to get into the shutter in time. And uh, I would be surprised if they take the opportunity to try to kill Aoki, considering Aoki is close to Uber here, and then they just burn off a little time as a consequence because of it. But it's a good trade to make. But instead, they're just going to offer the drive fight hope to kill Aoki oh, before this happens. And Yinor's on to nice Aoki. Bomb. Actually, going to focus on the soldier. Aoki's 92 on Aoki. They need to end this fight quick, otherwise Aoki's getting this Uber. 99 does now get, if Aoki not even using clutch. either. A better spawn from Dill as well. Yinor is nowhere to be found quite yet. Is now in, but uh, could not get buffed or anything. Uber gets popped. Fenman on 50%, last one alive. He's trying to hit that Surf out. Ooh, oh, and actually, oh, oh, just barely dodges the Spam dude. Rocket to survive. And that's actually some nice ad for them to work with, although, of course, they need to win this fight and they need to keep their medic alive to bring that fight for that to matter. Our oh, scene... Yinor's late. Jono is at least staying alive. Oh, Ooh. the air shot! No, but Will not still, Yinor is striking very well. Look at how low Dill is and then look at how low Ivan is. Yinor Let's needs a bow right now to, to take this fight. Oh, and Finman is going down oh, on no, point. Oh, they left the medic! It's just up to Yinor to do something, but uh, not looking likely against the uh, the tank soldier. And yeah, that fight really just came down to uh, Yinor being out of it for so long, just needing that bow for so long without getting it. We are seeing these better spawners from blue, though, getting quite aggressive. Aoki at 80% uber. Will you just be backing they up? They can take the getaway teleporter. I'm pretty sure you can reach Ooh. there with medic speed only. You can, yeah. And we did see Aoki go for that previously, but... Uh, Probably just scared to do so. Wow. Okay. At so the end of the, the skirmish, there's a 50 ad for three big guys, but Finman's getting instantly bombed. Ivan's gonna focus down. They're gonna focus individual targets, but Aoki just gets caught on the vent. Jump. Oh, it's just one combat, and Chano's so weak. Yeah, this should just be a cleanup. They spent, too, they spent too much time killing the medic rather than killing the fragging classes. I think that's probably, that was a problem there for three big guys in that fight. Yeah, oftentimes if you can just kill a soldier or a scout here, then you kind of can win the fight anyway. So it does not really matter that much to kill the med unless uh, it's uh, they have Uber or something. We do see Dill and, uh, or excuse me. Great kill by Yinor. Yeah. And Jono can just kill Aoki and then I Ivan just trying left to the island. All these players are just kind of healthy enough to not die to the pistol. So, yeah, nothing Very for... Nice. Uh, driving to do there. Oh, trying Triple to get Z. in. <laughs> and steals the glory. Yeah, it will not happen. Aoki spawned here. These are some staggered spawns as well. Red kind of just wasting a good like 15 20 seconds there just by uh, sending one player at a time. Dill right, first through the teleporter. The Ooh, okay, they do trade out the pick. Very important there. At this point, it's just a matter of scout v scout. Doing a good job of blocking this point, not letting them cap for free, but Dill is that faster spawner. We'll be here in time, we'll get that pick. Yinor just a second too late there on that slower spawn, and Finman here on 96% is gonna die. Dang! Take the Very, teleporter, people! Take just razor-thin margins there. Take it! Come on, man! Well, it's okay, you know. They're up, they have two rounds up. Just a small mistake, a small blimp in the road to glory, but Yino's gonna go in, and actually Yino's gonna teleport while John oh takes the God. vent, and that actually is a loop-de-loop-de -loop -de for the for three big guys, and they actually win the fight yeah. off of it. 
Ivan would need to clutch up humongously here. And actually, we do see Dill committing through the telly, but gets the pick on Jono. Okay, so Yinar is here and is crit heals, so that is a full buffed soldier. Actually Finman going for a Yoki, out, yeah. Committing to this fight, oh, that's going to result in his death. Yeah. We are seeing just kind of some uh, some salvage attempts here from these spawners on blue. At this point, they just need to take their time, approach this next fight. 30 seconds left. Not going to be any Uber in play, uh, potentially for the rest of the round, depending on how scrappy things go. But uh, Blue definitely needs to be on their stuff. And that, starting off with the scout, I it's quite valuable here. Dill on the low ground. Actually, Jono committing down for that pick will secure it. Gets the medic as well. And is not committing, it's just chilling out. But, well, there's, uh, a, there's a 30-second 30, there's a 30 second deficit that they have to reach through in order mm -hmm. to tie it up, you know? At least they have a 12-second buffer should they lose one fight, but that's not going to be enough to work on as Yinor. This fight is commencing, and John knows winning it for his mm. team. Yeah, and John the focus fire is just really kill. good. And this is where things can get really frustrating for Red, where you just need to win one fight to win the round here, but uh, this might be their last opportunity here. 20 seconds left is all. And the scout takes a ton of damage early on. Ivan is 10 HP. Does not get focused down. Now Red have a foothold in this fight. Oh yeah, Finman does have Uber. Oh, that's kind of just the trump card then. Yeah, this is pretty I mean, much all she wrote for this round. I think yeah. that should be the map, actually. Uh, it's first to four, I believe, first right? First to four? Okay, this first to four. showing on my HUD, at least. I hope they win the fight, actually. Okay, we spoke way too soon. They delayed Dill spawn, though. They delayed Dill they did. spawn, though. I don't know if it's going to matter that much, because these players are going to take some time to heal a little bit. They're oh, getting the in. They out. use Uber. Oh, no and there's no, they need someone on cap. It's, it's got to be Finman for the moment. But, uh, wow. Yeah, that was uh, looking like wraps for Red, but they were able to just survive the Uber long enough and then win the post and win the round off of it. Yeah, I was a bit worried there because it feels like three big guys, they get too aggressive when they know they should have Uber to close up the round. But now they're getting aggressive once again, but they actually focus on the scout immediately. And Dale's left alone to his own devices here. Gets arrowed, but that's still not enough while taking down Yinor's yeah. left with him, so. Yep, and then we do see Jono just cool as a cucumber. Hey, you can just chill over there, Aoki. I'm going to reload some scatter guns, and then I'm going to walk over and kill you. So we are looking at Oh, Finn blue. puts himself oh. into a corner. Unfortunate. I was about to say blue with a strong start here. I suppose they are down a combat, and yeah, just like that. Uh, a Medi Beam can only heal off so much damage, but uh, two players shooting at a player can be quite difficult to heal off. Dill chatting up, winning a 2v1 there against Yinor and Jono, and Finman committing out of the spawn thinking all was well, but it was not. And with that, point's gonna flip, and uh, Red's gonna get their capture. Oh, you know he's going to go way ahead Ooh. of his team, and that actually puts the team on the back foot of this round, and Jono... Yeah, they, they, were, they were extremely the staggered runner. there. Finman was still in spawn um, by the time Yinor was already dying, and then Jono just followed a few steps behind. Have you heard the story of how Finman got cut from his team? <laughs> back in Maine? You I have? Did not, I did not know Finman was cut from their team so, in Maine. You know, while this fight commences, so basically Finman, oh, you know, he was on the team Finman with, uh, he was on the team with Tiger and, like, Stab and then Butter Thoughts. He got cut because he, like, jumped off, you know how when you're on the metal work, works roll up, three seconds through bridge, you, uh, he jumped off of it somehow, and his team knew, like, okay, that was time to cut him. He was like, oh, crap, I fell off the bridge on the rollout, and then, yeah, they lost the match because of it, actually. Oh, wow. That sounds like Cope to me. <laughs> Like, you don't lose... Okay, you can lose a mid because your med jumps off the bridge on a rollout, but you can't lose a game because of it. <laughs> There's definitely a lot more going wrong. Oh, that actually wow. a nice air shot from yeah, Yinor onto Yenor. Bill. <laughs> we finish our story time there, and yeah. suddenly, <laughs> three big guys, they have a lead. Maybe, maybe do, I curse yeah. Finman there. Or I curse the other team by talking about Finman. Yeah, I don't know. People love to, to cope on their medics. It's, uh, it's a complex they have. That being said, Dill might be first to go down here, but they do trade the soldiers. Ultimately, Finman does get forced. We'll see if Jono can hit their shots. Aoki, 10 HP. This is... Ooh. But Dill is here. The Uber is faded. Finman dies. 
Aoki does die at the end of things, but uh, Jono would have really liked that pick much sooner. And Yinor against a 10 HP scout just needs to hit one shotgun oh, shot. Oh, he's not running circles connect. around him. Okay, so that being said, Blue should be able to easily recapture here. Yinor is on the way. Everyone's going to get fully buffed up, which is not the case for Red. Actually, big health advantage here for Blue if they want to just walk at again. them. Nearly They're actually seeding a lot of space here. I don't think that that's necessary, um, considering they were all buffed there. Kind of just well, mulch them in the corner. I think they're forcing seeing... Red's hand because, you know, Drake's peanuts, they don't have the point and they have to make the space for their own team. And Yinor is going to be the one to initiate and gets punished, but that allows John for the cleanup. Always trusty to have that scout. And I think that's where Ulti Trio comes in to play because if a soldier doesn't win the fight, well, the scout can clean up the scraps of the food. Mission ends. And now 30 seconds left for Red. Definitely in that crunch time. They have a lot of cap time to work with. So I think even if they lose this fight, they'll be able to take another one with a comfortable uh, overtime like capture point progress, I suppose. They might be winning this fight, though, because Dill is that faster spawner, uh, just barely. Yinor showing in now, but it might be too little too late. Needs to do a lot here. There goes Finman, and Dill will not be crazy. Oh, going to chat this up. In. Uh, oh, oh nice that one, Dill. I got to trade at least. But, uh, yeah, nice rocket from Dill. Oh, and Aoki took an arrow, but I'm not sure what that's going to mean. Finman's just firing pot shots into the point. All right, and this I is think now... Uh, on Aoki. Oh, Finman was actually leading the charge there. Maybe to draw <laughs> eyes as uh, oh, <laughs> combat from Ivan, Blue though. just they goes Ooh, Jono versus Dill. Aoki's here to help, but not enough. Aoki has to get the point time, just can't afford to stay straight away from it. Yeah. Like oh my god, Jono on 10 H just two shot I I saw that. Someone that heal this man, thing. heal this man. He doesn't it's need just, to heal. Oh, and Dill can't even get the point time. Sunshine versus the, during Sexa versus Ninjago, where he was like chatting it up and then like, Gaon just didn't heal him at all, and that was like Jono in that situation. Oh, well, yeah, when he had the, uh, <laughs> the katana out and just couldn't yeah. put it away without dying. Finman actually going up the jump pad trying to uh, get some type of saw kill on the medic. I think that's a, uh, a match point, let me try and hit a clip type of play or something. But uh, needless to say, it did not work out, and first <laughs> capture does go to red here. Well, Jono, he's riding on the high. He's actually going to be the one to lead the charge instead of Dinor. And they they actually focus on Ivan. Jono just walks over oh, past wow. the soldier spam, walks in, and now Dinor's going to enter the ring, and they're going to focus down on Yoshi Ooh, then. A, a good, a good combo one two punch from three big guys. Those are all, like, all three spawns were on different waves as well, so they had to wait the maximum length of time there. And actually, Dill and Aoki both dying. Ivan, a little slow out of this spawn door, is now isolated and will shortly be dying here, unless they clutch up. Man, unless they just live forever. Die. Yeah, and these players, ooh. Man, Dill if those players just flooded the teleport for a pinch, that would have been goaded. But, uh, of course, you don't. You expect your guy to be like dying soon, and you don't want to commit in and then be stuck. Oh, that! Uh, Dell's gonna go to the teleport. The others are gonna Ooh, go to the teleport. John was first to die. Finman Uber might get popped here. Ooh, Ooh. Nice. yeah, Dill with the dying breath. Just I hope Finman milks this for as long as they can. They need to start milking the pastry yeah. farms here. And Aoki and Ivan are completely split here. Oh, Bauman from Dill gets the soldier, and then a pop from Finman. Aoki instantly kill binding upon seeing their soldier die. But again, Lou is now carving themselves a comfortable little lead. Great here, serve from Finman there. Baits Ooh, in the players to allow damage. the scout to clean up. But it's not going to really so matter in the end of things. Both scouts are just concerned with the other team's Oh, Jono's Jono Jono actually to get the kill. his own. Once again, he's gotten two kills. Might get a third here. Ooh, but, but the soldier's part of Dilla's came. Man, these Dill rockets oh, are okay. crazy. There goes Finman. Yinor is trying to do something. Maybe get a scout trade. Will not be able to get it. And again, like staggered, staggered players. They're trying to go in and help their guys, but uh, their guys are dying just before they actually commit. And once you commit on this map, there's really no going back. Are. So they're going to go for a one two split again. Who's the tough one? One this one door. Aoki's That's isolated as well. Should be a free pick for Yinor, maybe. Yinor actually turning around to get the scout instead will turn right back 
Actually, Aoki killbines instead. Did not get put down by the shotgun. But uh, yeah, Lou's it, lead is growing slowly this like, here. This fight decides it because if they don't kill Finman, Finman gets Uber for the next fight, and if they wipe, you know, it's all she wrote for this map. And potentially, I mean, we no, we have seen Blue with Uber with overtime lose the round. Uh, of course, like this is still, they have time to take a fight, force this Uber, and be fine. Um, but it was like still dying at first. Is bad. Okay, they trade out soldiers. Dep if this goes early, we might see a force. And oh, actually, never mind, we see a drop. 100%. And just like that, Dill is spawned in time to clean up Jono here, but uh, not before Ivan dies. So down a scout for red. Will not be for that long, only a couple of seconds here uh, as Lou heal up. Actually, the scout is here in time and gets a crit buff by the time anything gets fired. We're going to focus on Aoki immediately yeah. on three big guys. If they get this kill, Ooh. they're actually might and be getting clean more. Crew. Dill nice rockets again. Oh my what god. The? Six HP. I Thin Man, yeah. I Thin Man definitely, this is absolutely a commit on the med. Yep. Okay, it's Yinor to hit it. But, uh, okay, Blue recaps. 30 seconds left. So, if Blue wins this fight, then... I think we have to get so. Actually, with the amount of time that's being taken here, if Blue is just even de delays for build. enough time here... Yeah, the fact that they wasted so much time here means that at this point in the game... Oh, look at that on Yeah, trying to get that med If he gets us one Uber, so he Oh my god. I think oh, that's a yeah, he got play right there. Yeah, that's that's GG's. I was gonna say like we reached the point where if Blue won a single fight for the entire map, then it was just gonna be over because uh, Red was just kind of out of time. And well, it turns out that the fight that, that they won was the fight that we were watching. And yeah, that's gonna be a four-one app one for uh, for three big guys. Kind of funny, kind of funny, and how when you look at the leaderboard in terms of points. You know, it's flip flop between the scout and the soldier. So that kind of really shows you who are the players to watch. And I mean, it's pretty obvious because I feel like there was a lot of times where Jono just got the three K to wipe the other team, and then and then uh, Dill would have to pick up the slack of Ivan's fragging to you know wipe the other team. But that just came down to crisp raw DM really more than just mm -hmm. like you know having to follow up on your teammates. So Dill felt like a one man job. Jono played really well to Yinor's distractions. Yeah, compared to sixes in ulti trio, every single kill is going to be important, um, with very, very few exceptions, because there's only three players on a team. Just getting one pick and starting off a team fight with one pick is already just going to be a massive advantage for you. Well, I think with that, we are headed to our next map as my bottle falls next to the microphone. It is Kaffa, which is your first time seeing this map, and yes. so it is for mine. Okay, I, I was able to download the map through STV, thankfully. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, that would have been, uh... I, see the, I see the map, Ooh. and you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Team Fortress Classic 2 Fort, at least with the, uh, with the, you know uh... What? I have seen, I, I watched a young man stream Ulti Trio for probably a good 30 seconds, and I'm pretty sure it was on this map. Is this also a teleporter? Yeah, there's a teleporter all the way at the back. You got a mini okay. pack on the bridge that leads to point through the teleporters, and you even have two mini packs toward the spawn doors. So, I'm not sure what this map is. Well, I can definitely tell if you fall off the bridge, it leads to your death. I can tell that, obviously. But so, first impressions here actually is, uh, I mean, first and foremost, this map is significantly larger than uh, not as much high ground too. There's not too too much of an emphasis on high ground aside from the point, and the point is not really high ground at that. Um, sort of. I mean, there is still the high ground in front of the spawns, which again was the second major thing. Of the spawns are actually touching each other as opposed to being opposite ends of the map. Um, so well, teams the only... holding are going to be kind of holding and looking at the same direction, actually, oddly enough. I'm just not too sure how pinches are going to work because if you look at the teleport and how far it is from point in the high ground between the spawn doors, it seems like there's a lot of ground to cover. So really, if you're going to do a one-two pinch that we saw on the previous map, 
it's gonna have to be the soldier taking the teleport because only he can close the distance in that short amount of time so i'll be interested to see how teams approach the map strategically yeah one two does not seem like it's going to be that effective necessarily uh unless the guy in spawn is probably the one and it's mm -hmm. just really on top of playing those uh resupplies um because yeah it should be very easy to just turn around and shoot them um, what i expect is the the base where teams are going to hold being this this high ground that we see finman on at the moment um because yeah that that's the spot that you can get those spam rockets anywhere else on the map um one thing actually i'm curious about is maybe um because of the size of this map i don't expect it but uh i think there's a case that gunboats are stronger on this map than they were on the previous map just oh, you because made a good point. we do see uh these conspicuous walls placed for no other reason than high bombs i presume yeah, and I kind of but, see, you know, there is a little pawn there that you could have a more, have a longer rocket jump with. So oh, I don't yeah. know how it's going to play into things. So I like that. Six's map, everyone talks about Six's map having like the little thing of water for the water uh, jumps, which anyone who doesn't know, uh, rocket jumps in like a small little puddle of water, not deep enough to be swimming or anything, are actually uh, much higher than normal and higher than sea taps, I believe um but yeah that's another inclusion so we'll see if uh gunboats get used again giving up the firepower of a shotgun especially in a 3v3 where you don't have a lot of firepower on your team in general is is an invaluable thing but uh we'll see what uh, people have to do you know what are... i would like to see is you know if there was a if this map was if there was a version of this map where, or like just any ulti trail map in general, where the point was actually covered by, you know, like a death pit, rather than <laughs> being able to walk to it, so well, I would like to see, you know, it would be, it, it would have to be like the there's a death pit in this one. Okay, I am very much not a fan. So on like fire, I can make excuses or make. Uh, I think it's fine to have the optional like jump to safety that uh, could lead to your death. Yeah. Um, in competitive maps in general, I just don't like kill boxes in general. Kill uh, pits, yeah. I guess it's better that there's like no pyros, but uh, still getting knocked into just a death pit and then getting screwed over is uh, irksome, to say the least. I was going to be interested to see how the map works in favor of the scout because you because you know the biggest strength of the scout is being able to traverse with the double jump through high ground but the, aside from point and you know the little uh the high ground behind, towards the spawn doors there's not really much place for the scout to jump through mm -hmm. but you know with the openness of the map it makes it easy also for the scout to play the low ground because there's not a lot of uh close quarters places that you can actually shoot wall rockets with so uh, one a little attention to detail thing uh, to note here as well is uh, that high ground is not flat. It is sloped with uh, like a front slope and a back slope, and meaning that uh, whatever spot a team holds on, uh, they can get spammed from either the spawn door or the teleport. Right. So it is high ground over everything else in the map effectively, but... Uh, if you're on the wrong side of that uh, like triangular geometry, then the other team soldier can get spam onto you. Well, we'll see as, you know, three big guys that take the first map. We're now on to this new map that me and Rumpus are experiencing for the first time. And I would actually be curious to see if we go to the third map here, but three big guys would need to lose this, and Drake's big penis would need to bring it back in order for us to analyze the map even further, but... As we go live very soon, I'm going to predict, you know, I'm going to see, I think this is going to be a close one. I think we're going to see some new inventions on how to play the map, and I'm going to guess a 4-2 either side. Oh. Um, I'd like to see a map 3, if only to see that what the map is, which I have not seen yet. But well, seems like the after a... Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that! That's the, that's where the hole in the wall is. You could meet them yep. right outside the spawn doors, and both soldiers actually went for that. Ooh, Jono first to fall. Still might follow. 
Fenman will secure the kill, but might die shortly thereafter. At this point, it's just Yinor. These players are maybe weak enough. Oh, nice rocket right, there. Okay. Oh, yeah, Yinor does die for it. Oh, look at that. Yogi's you know, going towards the teleporter to play yeah. for his team spawn rather than towards the spawn doors. So that's a weird quirk about the openness and the length of the map. Yeah, Jono might be dying here. Yeah, one nice uh, thing about that. Of course, there's trade-offs associated, and actually, Dill will be falling in addition to Aoki, so Blue will secure this first capture, and uh, something else is a five-minute round timer, actually. Um, long for Koth. So... Five minutes. Hopefully, yeah. it's only the three rounds. Unlike the, the previous <laughs> round, where uh, it's much more compact, that means it's a lot more, like, action-packed. Uh, fights happen faster. Actually, they're just trying to hold them into spawn here. Uh, but... That comes with the trade-off of, you know, your team wipes, you're just dead. Whereas here, of course, there might be some awkward walk-ups with uh, longer range fights happening. But if you're a medic and your team dies, then you have the option to just live, which is nice. Uh, so we do see both these uh, first death players are spawning. And no fights for point yet. Keep in mind, Finman has this uber, 60% on Aoki. Ivan might be dying here. It will oh, be dying. Aoki's going Jana. for that saw, but at 72%, even an Uber saw will not give them Uber, unfortunately. And with that, full Uber ad secured yet again for Finman. Oh, what is that? Ticking. Yeah. They like will they not offer the teleporter to, yeah. on Drake's big peanut, so we'll be interested to see. Because, you know, they're now have to cross the bridge and they could fall into the death oh, pit yeah. here. Good spam here from uh, Yinor. Actually able to just force them back entirely. Dill right, asking for a bow, but will get focused down before it comes. At this point, Red is just cornered. We'll see Yinor bombing in. The collapse is happening. Ivan will die, and Aoki will kill Bind shortly thereafter. And that being said, just about two minutes burned here for uh, Blue. I'm starting to realize that how easy it is for Jono to just jump between the fences of the point and then the slow high ground here to, you know, dodge spam because he made a master class of how to play the point. Mm -hmm. Yep, just doing the scout class things. Actually, Finman eating a rocket on height there makes things a little more precarious. Dill trying to bomb in. Yeah, it's just mm. able to get the force. Because of that, Aoki will just instantly kill Bind. And Finman, did we see... Oh, we did see a Medigun swap. So just preserving a little bit of Uber ad there instead of having the remaining Uber ticking down, wasting time. Going for that swap there to preserve at least a little bit of ad. You can't really tell right now if it's down. a DM. If it's a DM issue right now, or if Wu just having that point, you know, it just allowed him to really pick where they want to play the ground from because they're starting off from the slope they take spam onto drake's big penis as they walk through the spawn doors and then they just start to collapse after that so i don't know if that's due to the length of the map it's the definitely i mean ulti duo and ulti trio both it's it's much easier to hold the point than push it for sure but uh actually jano will clean up ivan there who is a little isolated a little scrappy fight here but finman and, finman. and uh, rough, jano man. are just like able to combined efforts get uh, the soldier there. Aoki is trying to preserve their life, but will have a very delayed death there, unfortunately. And at this point, both of Red's players are just trying to salvage. There they will go. get Yinor to scout 1v1, but one of these scouts is being healed, and you the know, other I'm not is even medic. I think it's just the map. I think John just being on a 12k, you know, just out DMing these players is really the catalyst for this wall of round so far. farming. Uber gets popped. Jono does not really have much loaded though, so this Uber, and if they end this Uber in a bad spot, then it's going to be bad oh, for them. Ooh, I'm they get the pick the though. Yinor catches a nice bow there. Finman, ooh, but will die. Oh my god, Aoki's fragging out. Jono, Wait, oh, oh my god! Down. The Aoki 3k. Are you kidding me? Alright, so blue burned. Four whole minutes, but uh, not enough to win the round yet. Red will be able to capture try and make uh, something happen here. Aoki, keep in mind, got quite a few saws off there, so already has this uber charge. Now we'll see the retake here from oh, three Oh, but big Blue guys. already has the positioning as though they own the point already. Oh, and Aoki drops from the 3k to the drop, the highest highs and the lowest lows. That's going to be a very trivial recapture from Blue. And, uh, man, the second that Red had any foothold in this round, it just... It slipped. 
You mentioned the wall jump from the spawn doors, but you look at how much distance you have to cover with the wall jump. So instead, yeah. looks like both teams have all to take the teleporter or just go up the high ground to the spawn doors. And that's what Drake's Love Peanuts is trying to do, go to the teleporter. And it's working out so far, but in the Scout v Scout, you definitely favor John up. Yeah. Maybe I may have just jinxed him. We'll see. That man just trying to jump around. Aoki's really thinking about pulling out this, uh, this saw to get some damage out, but uh, decided to try and save Ivan there, who does go down to Jono. Yinor actually gets a free damage and kill onto both Aoki. All right, the, the kill on Dill was not free, but uh, got it <laughs> nonetheless. 12 seconds left. I don't see how Red even makes it to point here. They do have some uh, some cap time to work with. We do see a bit of a split play here, but Dill has to take a 1v1 against a scout on high ground. You never want to have to do that. Oh man, but somehow I even, the Uber, though. <laughs> I even just ran past the combo and was able to try and pinch Jono. But Dill dies. There it goes, Ivan. Aoki unable to get to point in time. That's going to be the first round. And man, this is a long round timer. Yeah, and we have to go to four rounds. So hopefully there is an adjustment. I would recommend to stay on the three round timer for it. Ooh, but well, yeah, you know what Yeah. No I think, I don't know up. if Yinor jumped in spawn to make it even faster or not, but it does not work out, and that's going to be a full wipe. Ooh, that's actually, a good, that's actually a good strat, now that you mention it, you know, doing that little crouch jump through the uh, spawn doors to get right at the shutter to jump, and hopefully sink mm -hmm. two rockets. Ooh, we do see the split play here, but uh, Yinor is actually in the spot to commit at this point. Gets the cap time, so they definitely know gets super denied by the scout. But in the front lines, Dill does die, but gets Finman before that happens. Oh, that was Aoki just a 20 own, HP John. Yep, does. I was gonna say, 20 HP Jono is definitely uh, killable to Aoki, which is what we saw there. And 75 to Uber. This could come into play soon enough. Looks like Blue just trying to pressure this point. Nice Ooh, Dill. And the Dill rockets. Oh, will die going for the middies, shot. but uh, yeah. And at this point, Aoki needs to die. 98% does die. Wow. That was uh, very clutch from Blue to be able to avert that crisis, which I don't even think they realized was uh, close. Well, Drake loves you know, they They really love this teleport, so they're going to go to the bridge. Hopefully, they don't get, get bounced into the kill pit, but they get a nice dark from the Jono. Dill starts it off again, uh -huh. but the Uber is out from Finman. And there should be a wipe here. Aoki's isolated. Dill and Ivan are too. Easy cleanup for Jono and Yinor. Was Finman alive that long? How? I think. I think Finman may have picked up the, the gun. Um, which, again, like multi duo and trio game modes where medi gun swapping is. I'll say like meta even. It's just can be very impactful. Um, Use Uber, kill a medic, pick up the gun, swap back to your own. You preserve 60, 60 plus percent Dang, of John the original Uber. farming though. Oh yeah. I mean, what can you really you do? as well on a yeah. six kill streak at the moment. Make that a seven. Whew. Well, John o needs heals. They need to start healing up and buffing up. Finman finally connects with his team, and the buffs should be better here for three big guys against Drake Love's Peanuts here in this fight. And Ivan's getting isolated, but you know, the oh, fight here, Yinor has to direct on Dill, but Dill it's not gonna be just enough. hits all the directs instead. I'm gonna turn my light on. I'll be back in two seconds. No worries, as Finman loses the fight, but gets Dill with the crossbow before falling. And Yinor and John Jono, they're gonna go for an all-in, but they kill Ivan first, but Aoki just can run across the entirety of the map. Runs to the other extremity towards the teleporter, and somebody should connect with him Ooh. in a moment's time. No, Dill's just gonna win the fight against Jono. There's bomb from spawn. Onto Jono. Free pick there. Died in one rocket. Time is pretty pretty close, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, like Dell's gonna spawn. 15 camp. seconds on the Oh, look at yeah. spawn. Dell was in a great spot there. Gotta check those uh, hiding spots, but somehow but it's not. But he didn't really get any Ooh. damage with it, though, sadly. Yinor needs to hit these shots. We'll catch a bow. Very important there. They're starting to pressure the point. Just bring Ivan out in the open. But uh, against a scout, this is a tough thing to do with a soldier. Jono's here, though. Ooh. Uber. Uber gets popped, and then Finman gets shot off. 
to the pit of death. Ooh, and... that's actually a nice thing about this map on Ulti Trio. If you have a scout that can just cut your medic around, you can just run around the map like that, like they did against Yinor in order to get the Uber. So there's another little added thing on the map. All right, so Red has uh, secured themselves about a 30 second advantage here. Dilgip's going for that uh, high ground as well, like above the spawn. Does die, but gets a lot of damage in the meantime. These players do need to he heal up. Jono not getting tanked, taking this fight with Ivan is actually quite close to winning it. Ivan only 20 HP. I'm just gonna Slow run. to link up with the med as well. They're just, yeah, going to kite away. Dildo commit out of the spawn and is now an isolated player. Ivan running in. Oh, they do Jono focus down Jono. Dill will die. Ubers are even here. Ooh, Yinor is getting focused down. Oh, but they split. Unable to bow. Yinor needed a bow seconds ago. And with that, Red's just able to cap the point. Uh, oh, but Jono's in through the telly. Gets Aoki. Nobody to connect. Ivan oh, will focus Jill, on Yinor. Dill just gets the, uh, the force. With spam rockets as well, they just like knocked Thin Man up just just enough to kind of chain into each other. And Yinor might be able to get Ivan here. Oh, but it, he opened the spawn over for Ivan, yeah, but Ivan but was not aware the comm just wasn't there. All There's right. actually a resupply door in each spawn door, and I didn't even have to notice. Two minutes left for red as blue caps. They have three minutes remaining, and we'll see. Blue have been great about holding this point. Aoki first to die. This is looking oh, like man. an you know, easy wipe. wipe for them. Just heal these players up. Finman going to be about 50 uber pretty soon here once these buffs are gone. And we'll see. Red just trying to get through uh, spawn again. They do go for a 2-1 split. Dill but just Ivan trying to capture. But Ivan needs to a lot longer, and Aoki's already committed up the spawn door, so that will just spell the end yeah. of this push. Dill is doing a good job. Oh, my God, the rockets. Dill is doing a good job of uh, pressuring the cap there, and I actually capped it outright. Does deny the spawners, I suppose, but uh, wins a little bit of time. Something I noticed as well is uh, the fact that the point is situated so far away from the high ground that they typically mm -hmm. hold at means that, uh, ooh, Yinor cratering there. It is an even fight here, but uh, Uber for Finman means unlikely for Blue to lose this. They do pop. We'll see if Jono can get anything. Missing these shots on Aoki, who's just hitting the jukes, gets and one nice shot in. Oh yeah, Uber is over. Dill. Finman is going to be caught. Dill is on point. Enor, short to follow, is primed for a collapse. Gets one nice rocket. Ivan is full HP, though. This is going to be a tall order for Enor. Needs to do a lot here. Will not be able to, to close it out. But yeah, as oh, I was saying, that. the, uh, the teleporting that. players are as close, if not a little closer to the point, actually, than players from the spot. Look at Dill's position. Oh, Dill can get a lot here, but he chooses the scout instead of the soldier and the Ooh. medic. A completely first lost die. opportunity there. Dill dies. There's still some lingering buff here on Jono. Could win this fight against Ivan. Does. At this point, it's just a matter of getting this medic afterwards. If Aoki gets the saw here, he gets Uber, though. True. Yeah, gotta avoid that range. Dill is in on the case. Trying to bomb in, trying to help oh, Aoki. Missed. 18 HP. Aoki is maybe living here. Rocket. He gets out! Oh, wow. Yeah, Yinor had the bomb. And Finman dies as well. In the oh, uh, the pit. Wow. The tides have turned. Drake's, Drake loves peanuts are now back in this game. They have Falubra, and this should actually be a... This should actually be a, around as long as Aoki doesn't get forced early on. We will see. I mean, a minute is a long time. Um, maybe less of a long time on this map as opposed to Pyra. Oh, wow. Oh, obliterated. And, yeah. Oh, and the drop as they well. Don't, okay. I'm not going to say anything about having Ubers anymore, I guess. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. Uber... You have to use the Uber for it to matter. And sometimes even then it doesn't matter. That being said, Dill was first through here, just on this low ground. Actually, he gets some damage on Jono. In the meantime, that gives the opportunity for Ivan and Aoki to shove through spawn. But for what? Because now they seem kind of stuck in more than anything. Well, Drake loves peanuts here. Dill is trying gonna, to get in. getting isolated again, and Dill is just so late on this Ooh, flank because... But Dill's just going for spam. getting collapsed on. 
Okay, it's two combat versus one. Yinor does need to do some stuff here. Finman does end up forcing. Yinor just needs to reload some rockets here, in my opinion. There we go. Free pick there. Probably could have killed Ivan as well if they started reloading sooner, but nonetheless, 30 seconds left here for the blue team on point. Ivan does get isolated and killed there. Ubers will not be coming into play by the time Blue hits overtime here. Yinor getting in on Aoki nice job, will be able to just get that pick. And now Dill will be cleaned up. Ivan trying to salvage two shots the soldier actually, but against a fully buffed Jono. That's a It'd be better if Yad stay alive here because there's only 10 seconds left. If he dies very early on here, Thankfully, no, he will still die. Ooh. So it's just up to Dill on 100 HP, and I'm not sure if they could salvage this alone. Oh, no, but Dill's getting these kills. Yeah, there goes Finman. They will be able to get this point. Um, Yinor, last one alive here. Oh, does go Dill. for the air shot. Almost hits two, close, but uh, will connect neither. At this point, 35 seconds left for very holdable. We've seen both teams tend to hold this uh, point for a very long time. Yinor actually is pinching, dividing their attention, bombing in, I think running gunboats potentially. Let me get a sneak peek at his feet. No, no we'll no, be using no, shotgun. Oh, shot but the first pick goes to Dill. This is very scary. Ivan hits the shot though. Aoki is only at 81% so this Uber will but not this is where play. a soldier is great to have because they need to deny this cap time and that means that you can use that spam. Yeah, look at that. That splash damage makes such a huge difference when uh, in an overtime situation where they have to deny point. Well, the peanuts are not looking too good right now. They might just need to have a very good uh, round here. And it starts off pretty well with Dill just bouncing Finn that man up into the sky. But Aoki and Dill are just isolated. Spent yeah. too much time killing the medic and Jono and Yinor pounce on the opportunity. Absolutely. And we might be in for... So, theoretically... This this Koth uh, map, if it ran 10 minutes each round, would be an hour. Okay, there's oh, an wow. hour and 10. An hour and 10, an hour and 10 minutes. Rounds yeah, four rounds, three rounds, double overtime each. That is wild. That Man. being said, as I was uh, coping about it around timer, we did see Red just kind of shove through uh, Let's go their spawn and, and wipe uh, blue. So we'll see. Yeah, Blue only able to get about 30 seconds off the clock before it got recapped. Yinor and Dill exchanging rockets, but Dill it will be Yinor going down. Racks. At this point, Finman is just stuck on the wrong side of things. We'll be able to kind of skirt around here. Does take oh, some damage. It gets oh, air shot as well. Dude, Finman. Dill rockets are different. I don't know what to tell you. Oh my! Someone put that. That was insane. I think they Ooh. should have a way back into this Drake Gloves peanut. Chano gets the force as well, and actually might catch a bow here. Finman is in spawn trying to hit him, but uh, that is too far to connect. We'll see. Ooh, actually, Aoki was standing still there. It was definitely uh, bowable. Man, they're not jumping off the pond. Jump off the pond. Let's see it. Come on. Bring it to us. Ooh, bomb in from Dill. Jono actually does die first. Yinor is able to kill Dill, but... Uh, Yinor and Finman need to link up fast, and that's not going to be able to happen. But something I did notice was Finman going for those bows from spawn. Ooh, Jono's kind of isolated here, just, I don't know, thought he was someone else for a second there. <laughs> uh, Finman going for those bows from spawn. Like, anytime you don't, uh, if you're not going anyway, maybe someone's dead and you just have to wait around. Uh, this is a long a long map and medic bows do a lot of damage from range Jono eating a ton of spam here might be the, the first to go nutters, down oh my nutters, god just hits the two oh. shot on Ivan the and then cleans up Dill Jono is popping off here the peanutters is not looking good for us brothers no yeah Dill must write the ship come on I mean, take us oh, actually it is 2-0 uh, I thought uh, peanuts had a round but no, Dill is behind, does get a little bit of point capture, so everyone knows that uh, the guy is on point. Only one alive here, walks the head. Unlikely anything would have worked out anyway, but uh, yeah, good effort there. He nutters, it's not looking good for us. <laughs> Bring it home, Dill, come on, we need those air shots! This round. So Finman does have this uber. 
uh, and do. Trying to make something work. Ivan will be next oh, to man. follow. Oh man, John's just on a hot streak, and he just caps it off. He gets all the kills by himself. No need for Yinor's help. Something to note, actually, feels like Blue's just hard winning this round, but uh, they're actually down on time. It will be made up very shortly here, and of course they do have this full uber ad. Actually, we do see Red opting for the full teleport push. Not something they were going for that often, only earlier on. Uber yeah, does get there. popped, actually. And this is an uber. aggressive uber, actually. And I might need to be clean living. Up Ivan fast. Dies. Ivan just it. Yeah, I don't... In, yeah, I don't think aggressive Ubers, I was gonna say, I feel like Ubers aggressively are just bad in this format, usually, just because, uh, and I'm not only saying that because it didn't work and they wiped, <laughs> I'm saying that because, uh, it's like, you can just kill the medic, you can just kill their medic without using Uber. Like, it's, it's not often that things are gonna even out. You're not often risking, like, evening Ubers. Just I by think holding because on to they have it. the point, they feel the need to play against the point, but they can let the point Ooh. go through as long as they like the other team. And it's you can see a full buff scout. This difference. is tough. Yeah, and we're seeing uh, shoe on the other foot this time around. Jono again going for that play, and no. again just getting shut down. That time, uh, okay, maybe I am in favor of uh, kill triggers on maps because that was pretty comedic. <laughs> But yeah, this full ad now for Aoki. So we'll see what Blue tried to do here. Some decent spam onto Ivan. Oh, Uber, Uber does get popped. Taken, but that's really far back. And I think they... Oh, Uber. Yeah. Thin Man will die for it. But uh, look at this cap pressure as well. John was going to secure the point. And... Now, there's no way Thin Man spawn, so I don't know how that should spell trouble towards the end. But it doesn't matter. Yinor just yeah. handles, it, oh. handles it by himself. It says MGE. Air shot? Cap the Kaffa MG, we've all seen it. Oh, Dill wins it's actually, those. yeah, Dill will be the one to win it. No. Oh yeah, just like that. I'm, I'm telling you, these bows. That's like 80 damage from that far away. That's no joke. Jono actually getting good spam. Ooh, but Yinor not realizing that there was a scout behind them that was actually the weak player, and now it's a 2v3. Jono on the low ground as well. Finman just needs to get out of there. Will you know, go down. Not a defining on this map. What if you, you know, does the short stop have the ability to like push people? Yeah, there's no way you can short stop shove people in the pit. <laughs> Don't even think about it. I think that should be a meta defining strat on this map. The short stop would be really good on this map, I think, just because it's all like mid range. But the shove doesn't even knock you away more than like, like a 30 damage rocket would. It's like nothing. That being said, we do see Soldier for Scout yeah. trade. Dill's quite low, but it's a nice rocket. Shano is now in danger. Will go down, but Finman, and it's oh. a frag session for Finman. Oh, he just finished them. The finish Ooh. man. As this Uber 2 does have to use against the solo scout, we'll be able to flash Yinor in time. And Yinor will be able to connect the shotgun onto Ivan. But at this point, Dill and Aoki commit to this fight 2v3. Finman is a little weak. We'll have to play a little bit of baity. But uh, they actually do Maybe stall long, long enough. Down. They they kind of stalled long enough for their scout to show up, but uh, and then Dill just died. First thing, and now it's another 2v3. And I'm surprised that Blue aren't going for collapses here. They have more players. They have more health. Um, just walk at them, you know? That is true. But, you know, you know going to take this isolated fight, but that just enables Dill Ooh. to enter the ring and help his friend out. But instead, Dill just get denied, yeah. Upon. Scuffy Scout, even health overall. Actually, Jono. Ooh, Finman's going quite low. 90% on both medics. Finman's about to die, I think. Oh, but Jono doesn't commit to the medic. They just. Oh, but it's still the 96% put the bomb in. Oh my god, the Yinor bomb. It's so goaded. It got so much damage. And then uh, Finman dying with 96%, and then Aoki dying with 97%. Yeah. Very, very thin margins there for that. Uh... Kind of curious if, you know, if Sandman was, if the Sandman bat was unlocked, how top coding would be on this map, because um, it does. Probably not, because you give up 15 max HP for it, <laughs> which is really bad. Oh my god, Dill, just rolling Enor. Yes, I think Sandman scouts have 110, which is just pitiful. Oh my god, Jono is showing up. Gives a saw, but I don't oh, think this should matter. 
Oh, oh Finman wants this fight. This is so risky. <laughs> so much HP. Yeah. So we might see some type of sack play here just off of that Finman. No, nah, it looks like they're gonna be waiting. Finman now 80% Uber. And look at Yinor. Just waiting by that telly. But now it's a little uh sketchy of a play because now you don't have spam on the shutter uh to deny them. Is here in the post fight or rather the latter halves of the fight and able to just shotgun down the remaining two players but uh really great class. definitely went for a hard read there on the teleport play five seconds left full uber actually they just use on point it seems like red were just too slow to get through finman oh. said nope this is going in the log that's and tournament point yes the three big guys he not looking good for us point. Yeah, the peanutters are in complete shambles right now. <laughs> Thought that was the goofy goober very soon, you know, to wallow in their <laughs> sorrows. Oh, Dill getting denied there, trying to bomb the scout. Both soldiers dying, in fact. Now the scout 1v1 we've seen so many times before. Jono, usually the victor in these circumstances. But uh, it's kind of undecided at the moment, actually. The damage is starting to come in. Ivan having to play defensively. At this point, Yinor is in, as is Dill. But Jono will die early on. And Jono going down to 20 HP multiple times during this fight. And yet again, both soldiers spawned and both soldiers fed. This time, Dill will be spawning significantly faster than Yinor. Oh, yeah, the cop is in favor of blue. And Jono's losing this fight. Can Finman stay alive? Yeah. Can Jono stay alive? Oh, Dill's wow. here for the collapse. Yinor hey, just bombs in and gets Aoki. The pop comes out. Everyone is safe. Wow. And... Uh, I don't know what went, what on what the blah, blah, blah. I don't know what went on there with Dill because they spawned like three or four seconds faster, but we're just like AFK for a second and a half, which ended up making the difference because because uh, Yinor was just able to to bomb in at roughly the same time and, and contribute. Dill first to fall here, Yinor will go down shortly oh, thereafter. John this time, sweet. yeah. Take us home! Take us home! So John. far, every fight this round has been uh, both soldiers die, and then it's a scout 1v1. This time around was no different, but uh, Jono just hit the two shots, so it was a lot less uh, to watch, I suppose. Or more to watch, depending on your perspective. Oh man, and they are... Up. Yeah, look at this. This is what you love to see, is they're... Oh, Del can get They're down a player. Finman here. Oh, yeah. Finman's just not aware of it, but Finman's Finman sends hitting a the unintentional surf, yeah. 98%, 99%, 4 HP, able to pop. Finman, just barely able to survive there. Peanutters! Oh. We're not going home, we're going to the Goofy <laughs> Uber run! <laughs> Man, that was very clutch there from, uh... I mean, I suppose Finman on 4 HP, like... You just hope that that guy dies before your Uber ends, because then you die. Oh, and what were you saying about uh, the peanutters? We're going to the Goopy Goober Rock. Oh, that's that's all I'm gonna say. No. I don't know why. I just like half expected a someone to all class, but that's not how this works around here. They need to run the shortstop. We need to start shoving people into the kill pit. Shortstop would say. shortstop would be really good here. I Durzo think. would be insane on this map. Yeah. Durzo, he loves the shortstop. Yinor cleaning up Dill. Just Ivan versus Yinor, but Ivan's only like 50, so it's gonna be pretty easy. And I don't know these uh, the peanuts are looking they're looking kind of shaky. They're looking like they have lost confidence because this round is a very peanuts dominant lead so far. They've yeah, they cracked. cracked open the peanut. And there's no nut in the shell. Oh no, it was a hollow one. <laughs> it's a, I hate it when that happens. Oh, and just like that, Aoki goes down. It's just up to Ivan. Do something, but no heals. 10 HP. Almost got Jono. Down to 7, but... Oh, Dill's gonna oh, crater. The, oh, that was so oh close. landing on the, uh, the minecart to avoid uh, cratering. I like that. Could have landed in the water. You know, should should have wall bug, should have wall bug. Uh, I don't think there's any. You could wall bug on the fence. It looks like you can wall bug inside the pit. I'm being told. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I was thinking more like edge bug. Probably. I mean, obviously going the water is the easiest, but an edge bug probably next easiest, and then a wall bug. There's just 
fewer wall bug options. Oh man, they're just sweeping right at the spawn doors. They're not even giving any opportunity oh, to take yeah. space. Uber does get popped, so that's nice for red. Unfortunate. Crater. Still cratering again. And they will not be able to get picks with this Uber, it seems. Aoki does die just afterwards. Ivan trying to make something happen, but no. I guess the, the Peanuts did get time on the board this round, so they're not going out completely sad. Oh, and Dill just gets absolutely obliterated oh, while going the to the third, jump. This is the third life in a row that Dill has cratered. Do the wall jump! The wall jump! You know? Oh, but you know, they're on shotgun, so it might it doesn't extra any damage on the jump. Like Honestly, if, if if Dill is playing like this for these bombs... Good gunboats, uh, yeah. Ooh, Good gunboats. Gets a nice pick on Jono. Yeah, the gunboats may as well try it out, I suppose. Oh man, Ivan's not gonna doing any damage to Yinor in the Scout v. Soldier shotgun fight right now. Finman that wants to frag. Oh, Finman gets I think Finman just Uber. secures the Uber, yeah. Fantastic. Ivan's so weak, does get focused down. The attention was split there between the scout and soldier, but uh, the other team was just so weak that it does not end up mattering. 15 sure. seconds left. Yinor on a 10 kill streak. Uh, the rest of these big guys are just too big, and it cracks the shell of the peanutters. Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> did you have to say that? <laughs> There goes Aoki, down a medic here, we're officially in overtime. It's just up to Ivan. Ivan's gonna go down. With this cap time, they maybe have a shot. Nah. Uh, that's if that was a soldier, a soldier had time to get to point, but uh, a medic surely does not. And that's a very dominant win there for three big guys. Take it home, they win the low grand finals of the Ulti Trio season, so... We'll be seeing the formulation of the high division tomorrow, but now you've seen the end of the low division. And congrats to three big guys. Shout out to Jono for having such a spectacular performance. Felt like he did, he was a turning tide for a lot of the fights. You know, just manhandled the peanutters by himself. So, all good. Yep. Congratulations to three big guys for that grand finals win. Um... Uh, consolations of course to uh drake loves peanuts and i suppose consolations as well to me for not being able to see a third map maybe uh next series i'll be able to see what other maps ulti trio has to offer um i was gonna yeah. say imagine like if you go if you go past spawn doors like outside of the map boundaries there is a second map there's like a second like map oh but you know I didn't really know if we were gonna see that. What is it? I didn't know if the teleport was gonna take us to that second version, second part of the. No, map. this is this is the skybox, I believe. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Darn! I was hoping it would just take us, but yeah. Well, that being said, GGs. I mean, shout out to both teams and shout out to the maker of this map because I, we saw a few interesting strats that I think was better than Fira. Honestly, I I like this map a little better than Fira. Uh... I like Fear a lot. That map looks awesome. TTL, TTL being map. told, yeah. Nice. It's cool when people map. It'd be interesting <laughs> if they had if they if they had a getaway teleporter from Fear into this map, and I think that would have you know, thrown a little frenzy. But also uh, a a gentle suggestion to lower the round timer. Three rounds, uh, three minutes. But if it's gonna be, if it's, I think if it's gonna be five minutes though, like it's okay to have a three round win limit. It's like reminding me of a uh, ghost fort when uh, <laughs> Halloween comes around and you have to do the contract, and it's a seven minute timer. Every oh, like, that is true. That is true. And every like forty seconds, Marasmus spawns and makes the point neutral again, and you're stuck there for twenty minutes just trying to get points for your contract. But uh, yeah, cool maps, cool games, uh, cool match tonight. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Too bad Any the Peanutters couldn't take it home, though. <laughs> Unfortunate. Any oh. uh, shout-outs from you? Yeah, shout-out uh, to the Goopy on. Goober. Shout-out to Math for, for uh, sandbagging Maine once again. Facts, facts. And uh, shout-out to everybody on Fireside. And thank you to the Underscore for production. Absolutely. Yep. That's... Uh, you said what I was going to say. So that's all from us, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one. Shout out to Vespiric.